Well, testimony resumes this morning in the trial of a Franklin man accused of trying to prostitute a 14 year old girl. The alleged victim took the stand yesterday, identifying William Shine as the man she says tried to sell her body to a man nearly twice her age. Ray Brewer joins us live in Concord now, where that trial is taking place. And, Ray, that uh, girl will be back on the stand today, right? Yeah, that's right. When testimony resumes at 10 o'clock this morning, Sean, the alleged victim will be back on the stand. She took the stand late yesterday. Meanwhile, another one of the prosecution's key witnesses wrapping up his testimony said when he realized the plans that William and Julie Shine had for the little girl, well, he had to intervene. The defense grilled witness Anthony O'Hickey for hours on Tuesday, calling into question the man's motives for teaming up with police, citing pending felony vandalism charges against O'Hickey in another case. O'Hickey didn't flinch, telling the court he heard about someone trying to sell a 14 year old girl and went to police. He says his only motive for wearing the wire was to save the team. Once I seen what was going on over there, I. Any human. Do, you know, you can't just stand by and watch something like this happen. O'Hickey told the court he was playing a part, using off color language and asking William Shine and his wife Julie about what he could do in the hotel room. They called her over, and we were all standing in a circle in the front yard, and uh, they said, Remember what we talked about earlier? And she goes, Huh? And they said, About, you know, being physical. And she goes, yes, and they're like, it's okay to have sex with them. O'Hickey testified he sealed the deal with a $1,000 payment in marked $100 bills. O'Hickey promising to come back later, but instead meeting with state police investigators. They gave me a high five, took the body wire off, and uh, at, said everything was good. A final text from O'Hickey to police revealing wishful relief that the operation was over. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my brother and I and saving these girls' lives. Again, the alleged victim will be back on the stand later this morning. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.